Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Kim at Uncensored Food. And uh, two days ago, a wonderful thing happened. The Amazon guy showed up at my door with this remarkable book, sent to me for no other reason than she loves me, uh, by my niece, Megan, uh, who has sent these books out to almost every one of her cousins and my sisters. It's wonderful. It's called Plenty More. It's a beautifully photographed, easy to follow book. Uh, plenty more vibrant vegetable cooking from London's Odin Lagi. That's the author and chef. Today I'm going to use all the things on this board to make for you quinoa and wild garlic cakes with Sabuk Seda sauce, which I had to Google because I didn't know how to say it. Uh, so there's no reason that we can't eat good vegetarian based foods that's tasty as well. Uh, this is a gorgeous book. I'm going to be pushing the shit out of this. Just the pictures alone in here will just make you die with how wonderful and glorious everything is. Megan gave me her favorites, and I'm gonna start with one of her favorites, which you can find on page 203. So we're gonna start by making the sauce. Follow along with me. This is really good. Roxy's impressed. This sauce begins with roasting the uh, five generous pieces of garlic with their skin on and the pepper, the red pepper and the red chilies. Turn on your oven to 425 and roast this for 10 minutes. Then take this stuff out and then turn the peppers and roast some more until the skin blackens. Uh, this is just the beginning. While everything else is happening, take the quinoa and cook a cup and a half of uh, raw quinoa. It turns into a bowl this size. Oy. Delish. Then you gotta, after you cook it, you put it on a cookie sheet with paper towels or whatever and dry it completely. Get rid of all that water. So that's gonna form the basis of these delicious cakes. I'm hungry already. Okay guys, this is a lot less complicated than I made it seem earlier. I've roasted the red pepper and the red hot pepper, which I couldn't find a fresh one for some reason. They didn't have it, so I bought the dried ones and roasted those and they're hotter when you roast them. Oh, you agree. So you start by taking the toasted almonds and we're gonna grind that to a fine powder, well, a coarse powder. For start. Enough of that. Once you've done that, this is where you add the roasted red pepper, the garlics that are nice and gushy, but not fully cooked all the way through. This red pepper, Spicy hot, delish, mm, sheesh. And you start turning this into a paste. I love a Vitamix. Okay, it's at this point, two tablespoons of sherry vinegar, One quarter teaspoon of salt. And now we're gonna add the oil. Seven tablespoons of it, but a little at a time so that this sauce emulsifies. It's a big $2 word, right? You just drip that in and it will emulsify, whatever the fuck that is. Can you see how slowly that's going in? Do that. In my true style, I forgot an ingredient, the tomatoes. So we'll put them in now, right? What can it hurt? We're gonna find out. The recipe calls for four fresh tomatoes, about a cup and a half, but I've chosen a can of fire roasted tomatoes instead, about a cup and a half. I tasted it before I added the tomatoes, and again after, it's still smooth and yummy and delicious. So if you fuck up, make it work for you. That's what I do all the time. Um, I suspect this would also be really, really good uh, if you keep it in the fridge and use it with chicken or use it with pork or uh, fish. My God, 
keeps it good. Remember I said this recipe is, uh, it's called for garlic leaves and quinoa. Well, I don't have garlic leaves, so you can replace them with green onions. And it says to slice them thinly. Remember this tool? I love it. I will give you a link to this. This shreds up the green onions brilliantly. I'm a cutter. Be careful of your fingers. I've already hurt myself. So six of these green onions are gonna get sliced and put in a bowl. That's where we begin. Now comes the making of the cakes. I started with those shredded onions. To that we add a small diced red onion. We add the cottage cheese. It's so delicious. It's gonna be sharp cheddar aged. Bread crumbs, finely diced green chilies. I chose Serrano chilies with the seeds and everything to make it hot. Two lightly beaten eggs and cumin. Hmm. All right, mix this up, then we're gonna add this to the dried and cooked quinoa and corn patties. I want you to notice that in the 10, 15 minutes or so it took me to prepare all these ingredients, I haven't touched this, and because I emulsified uh, the dressing, it hasn't separated. That's what you want, so. Dried, cooked quinoa. Now we add all of this and put it all together. It took a little sneak of taste. It's already pretty darn good. All right, kids, here we go. Well, there you go. I got 12 beautiful quinoa cakes out of what I did there. And look at those gorgeous little scallions sticking out, little pieces of them here and there. Those suckers are gonna brown up nicely and be super crispy. Here's what happens next. They're gonna get fried on the stove three and a half, four minutes on each side just to get them brown. Then they're gonna go into a parchment lined cookie sheet and go into a 400 degree oven for eight to 10 minutes to cook completely, hard and completely, and we eat. Woo, I hope you're hungry. Look how excited Roxy is to be a part of this. Good morning, Brandon. Oh. We're going to the park to run around with Mimi. How is it that I fell in love with her so completely and so deeply in about this much time? If I didn't have so many cuts on my thumbs, I could snap. Lover. And presto, just like that, beautiful quinoa cakes with salsada sauce, which if you don't want to make the sauce, give a couple of squeezes of fresh lime on top and you're good to go. This book is extraordinary. This is just my first attempt and it's so good already at proof, again, that vegetables and grains and things that are not full of fat are, uh, can be delicious as well. So don't, don't snub it. Don't turn your nose up at it. Thank you, Megan Downs, for sending me this extraordinary cookbook. I'll be using the fuck out of it, that's for sure. It's called Plenty More. You can find it on Amazon. I will give you a link. And this is um, Kim at Uncensored Food. Ah, oh, and Roxy telling me it's time to go to the park. <laughs>